Right, this is going to be a quick little video in response to a question I got in the comments. And it's a question that I can relate to and I understand because in my first playthrough of this game, I did not know how to do this. And the question is, how do you set your weapon wheel up for your food so that you have the food you want when you want it? And I went through the entire first game that I played without knowing how to do this. So, yeah. The saying is there are no dumb questions and this is not a dumb question. Sometimes you just miss information and yeah. So you know how to get to the weapon wheel by pressing L1. L1 brings up the weapon wheel. Then you can use the joystick to go to these different slots. So when you first start the game you, um, from a reload or whatever or a save, you might not have your long gun set up. So you just push the joystick to that slot. You use R2 and L2 to cycle through your options. Um, I like to roll like that with a rifle and a shotgun, but you can do that with all the slots. You know, your pistols are up there. You can choose the pistol you want down here. You can choose the uh, melee weapon you want and leave it there. Um, maybe you got different knives. If you, you know, have different knives, you can use the directional arrow to choose which one you want. Works the same with other uh, hatchets and things. Over here, it's the same. You can choose whatever you like. I like the tomahawk, so that's how... I sort of like to roll like that. And you can do that with the other menus as well. That's the short answer. You do the other menus just like you do your weapons. So this is Arthur's menu. It's basically set up when you first uh, start, but you have moonshine and your most basic uh, items here. So those aren't good. Choose the one you like. Instead of moonshine, go for a, you know, a more potent health cure and leave it on that one. Maybe in the top slot, uh, you instead of cocaine gum, you might choose a miracle tonic because that's first aid too, right? Same here. Instead of tobacco, maybe miracle tonic. That way, in all three of these slots, you have first aid. That's how I like to set it up when I know I'm going into combat. And this can be done with the food as well. Here, usually when you start the game, it's like on a can of beans or cheese or whatever, but it doesn't have to be. You can cycle through using L2 and R2 to cycle through every piece of cooked meat you have in your inventory. Uh, the best thing to leave it on is Minty Big Game, and after that probably Minty Game or Minty Beef, but Minty Big Game is the best. But you could also leave it on cigarettes, for example. You know, some people do that. I took a tonic by accident there, sorry about that, but let's say you left it on cigarettes and then you're just riding down the road and you decide you want a cigarette, well, you can just go to your weapon wheel and select it and smoke a cigarette. This works with whiskey and stuff too. That's also in the uh, options, but probably the best thing to leave it on is minty game, particularly if you're expecting combat. There are some other options here you could uh, mess around with. For example, here, you could leave it on your watch. For whatever reason, you can't look at your watch while you're on horseback. I don't understand why, but if you left it on your watch, you can always just quickly go over there and see what time it is. So getting back to the... Uh, other menus, that's Arthur sorted out. This is your horse. That's your horse reviver slot. If you have special horse reviver, you could select that instead. So you just use your joystick to go to these slots. Use L2 and R2 to select the one you want. With the horse, I usually try to select the best items, you know, because if your horse is in distress, you need to sort it out. Here you can choose the horse food of choice that you like. I tend to like hay, but you could also choose like wild carrots, for example, which is a good early game option because they're free. Here, you could choose your uh, horse ointment. That's good if you're going into combat, because that gives your horse a gold stamina core for 24 hours and also acts as a bit of first aid. And that's it, basically. Each of these three menus can be set up just like you set your weapons up. You, know, you just use the joystick to go to the slot you like, you use R2, L2 to select the thing you like, and you leave it that way. Um, it's easy to take a tonic by accident, so when you're setting these up, when you get it set up, before you let go of the weapon wheel, move the joystick off the slot, and then let it go, so you don't take it by accident like I did earlier. And yeah, that's it. So, uh, I hope this video was helpful, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.